Hello. Welcome to my channel. Sagittarius won last week, so they get to go first this week. Um, I do an ascension spread, a yoni spread, which is um, a little bit different than, you know, some of the others. Uh, I, I like doing this because it's, it's to me, it's, it explains a lot more. I have to read the cards because I don't know them by heart, but it's, it's just, I don't know, I like the stories better, <laughs> and they call me out every time, so why not? Um, your first card out is going to be the situation as it exists, beyond appearances. Your second is your action that the spirit suggests. Your third is the outcome. And I will have to look these up, so please bear with me. Alright. Right, right, right. Here we go. Let's get started. Sagittarius. Then I'll play an angel oracle card. It takes it takes them so much time to explain these. This it's like a regular regular uh, tarot deck reading because these cards, man, I love them. And with everybody going through this ascension and all the issues. Speaking of that, um, if you guys are having pain and, and discomfort at the moment, it, it's not nothing you need a doctor for. Um, you, you know, I mean, check it out. But there's, there's uh, geometric uh, storms going on out there. So... The solar flares are giving us, giving our bodies hell. So, just remember that. It's all part of the ascension. Oh, I see me spilled something on my table here. So I cleaned it off. There we go. Alright. Now let's get these shuffled. And here we go. Sagittarius. What is the real story beyond appearance? In the Sagittarius. One thing I need to think about. There it is. Turned over. What is it? Ooh. We got fruition. I'll read you the cards when I'm done. Okay, and then we get Spirit's Advice. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Ooh. That one flipped over. The other one laid down. Oh. You got a Pisces <laughs> card. Confusion is Spirit's Advice. When I read it to you, you'll understand it. Could be the advice to get out of your own head. But I'll clarify it. And then, got the best possible outcome. Jumped right up there. Flipped over. Where to go? Maybe not. No, there it is. Visionary. Ooh, that's a good card. All right, and we got crowning reed. Ooh, ouch! Be careful, self-destruction. Sagis. Let's read them out, see what they say, and then I'll pull you an our card. Okay. So your first card out was what it seems beyond what the reality is beyond appearances. That's what your first card is. Fruition, fruition, fruition. It's an earth card. 
Yeah, I get to know them all eventually. Like I said, you guys are learning alongside of me, so we'll, we'll do this together. We're going through this ascension together. We'll do it all together. Okay, where's my card? I know it's here. I've seen it. There it is. Mercury in Virgo. Imagine that. Mercury is in Virgo. <laughs> come, the, come the night. It's, oh, wow. Wow. Amazing these synchronicity. This says, The voluptuous African woman carries the gifts of the harvest to be shared with her family and, and community. She offers the bounty of life's wealth for all to receive and enjoy. Open now to fully experience your rewards for a long for a long work well done. This is a time of fruition. Enjoy of enjoying life is life at its peak. Celebrate the ripe harvest and take time to smell, taste and feel the abundant fruits of your labor. Celebrate. So beyond reality this is the way beyond the reality seems this is the way it really is. So you all live in a good, good life. Some of you. Anyway, like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest behind because this, you know, all, all reads aren't for everybody. I mean, and if it resonates, hey, let me know in the comments. Because I like to know how I'm doing. Okay, this is the Eight of Wands, eight, eight of Wind, Jupiter and Gemini. Okay, you see that? All right. Painful confusion this is, that this woman feels is reflected in her face, which is riddled with chaos and painful indecision. She is of two or several minds, mentally torn and des desperately trying to get a grip. She's showing you that when there are too many factors and no clear choices, that it is not time to make a decision. Now, now is the, wi the wisest course of action. Now the wisest course of action is to give you your mind a break and let it take a back seat where it belongs. This is no time to be over analytical. Deep trust in life's process is being called for. Know that when it is time to make a decision or you need clarity of mind, that the way will be shown to you. That sounds like a Piscean thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Pisces, so. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I definitely get it. And then the last card we have is Visionary. Let's look this one out. This is a really good card. This is the best outcome. So get out of your own head. You're doing just fine. That's pretty much what it's saying. You're just fine. Don't stress. Get out of your own head. And this will be your final outcome. I'm just going to read you the, what, it, what the card means, okay? This is the Corona of Wind, Eagle Woman, a vision. She comes to you with gifts of insight now, needed to ascend above your present circumstances and into new realities and perspectives of possibilities never before imagined. She brings pristine vision to assist you in, form, in forming a new way of seeing and creating the wor your world. Open your mind to new paradigms, to pioneer into your own and into unknown realities, leading the way for others and changing the course of the world forever. Oh, you guys got an important role here, it sounds like. So, that's the best outcome. And then crowning the overall read, and I'm guessing this is saying, don't do it. Don't self-destruct. Don't 
Don't stay in your own head. If you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody. Um, this sounds like it's it's pretty specific, so I don't know who it's for, but if you're out there listening, I hope it helps you. And this card here, Rattlesnake Fixed Gaze brings her venom of fire as a dangerous sign that cannot be ignored. An immediate change of behavioral or essential is essential or you will feel the rattlesnake's bite with the venom close behind. This viper is warning you that you are on a path to self-destruction. Your chronic inner struggle has led to exhausted and debilitating burnout. What danger signs have you been ignoring? You must re redirect your will from its destructive inward attack. Are you allowing others to assist you in, a self, in this self annihilation let this powerful transmuting power of the snake turn its turn this behavior around she is inviting you to align with the fires trans with her tra fires transformable transformative energy of creation and break the patterns of self-destruction that you find yourself in it kind of goes along with the confusion what's going on you guys Wow. So, um, get out of your own head. Stop. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Don't self destruct. Because you're almost there. Okay? And that's for those. And now I'll pull you an uh, angel or card. And see what the angels have to say. Yeah, that sounded pretty specific. I don't know what that was for. But I hope they listen to it. Because, really, I mean, you are your own thoughts. Right now, the energy is so crazy that um, every, it's, it's like a push-pull feeling to everything. One minute you're you're happy one well, the next minute you're sad the next minute you're you're upset the next minute you're crying i mean it, it's it's pretty tough energy out there right now so just take it easy on yourself take it it's, it's, it's all good yeah it'll be fine just get out of your own head take a break don't self-destruct don't do something self-destructive. Because you're all right. All right. Let's see what the angels got to say. Oh angels. What do you got to say to my Sagittarius? Oh, one jumped out. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a key card. Okay, we got the child. Now, Matt, I'm guessing it's asking you to embrace your inner child. And like I said, stop stressing. No reason for it because you're okay. And you're going to be just fine. And you're important. Don't forget that. You're really important. So don't do anything self-destruct, especially through these energies. Like I was saying, these energies are push and pull energies, and they're gonna push your buttons, and they're gonna pull on your feelings, and you're gonna and and you're gonna have to watch what you say and feel and think. Thinking is the worst part. It said that's one of the most self-destructive things you can do. Is just over overthink. Be like water. Just flow. Just roll with the flow. It's the easiest way to go. Trust me. Uh, let's read this card. Okay. Wow. You care deeply about children, and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can, we can clear and open your heart 
and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Somebody's got kids. And they need them. They, they need you. Okay? And that's all I have, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And like, stop, look, blah. You can't talk to me, sorry. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed it also. And uh, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you for uh, probably mid-month. Okay? Bye.